There are many kinds of apps on Play Store. The useful apps, fake apps, then useless apps, games, and then the fifth position, the hacking apps. So in this video, we'll see the top hacking apps on Play Store that's available right now to download. And Google doesn't restrict you to download these apps. So we'll be checking out those apps. Without any further ado, let's get started. Guys, in the video, I told that all the apps will be available directly in the Play Store. Only uh, four or five of them are available on Play Store. The rest of them uh, will be available on GitHub or also the links are given in the description down below. So in order to download it, just check those links. So starting off with the first app that I want to mention, it's called the Andro Rat. Rat stands for Remote Administrative Tools. It's a client server app where you can basically check all the informations like contacts, call logs, SMS, MMS, recent calls and other private information. So in order to run this app, you need to install this in the client's phone. You can directly download it from the uh, link given in the description down below and it's free. The second app is called Csploit. Csploit you know, is one of the most powerful hacking apps for Android. It's a networking tool and it can do a bunch of things like man in the middle of attacks, force TCP and UDP packets and other similar things. And one drawback of this app is uh, your phone has to be rooted in order to use this app. Now moving on to the third app, it's called Droid Sheep. Droid Sheep is a network again, networking app again. Uh, it is a network snipper. So when you open this app, it starts snipping activity on the network. You can interrupt all kinds of internet activity, including social media activity, web browsing and other stuff. The UI is very basic and easy to understand. So it's all based on the Wi-Fi network. And the fourth app is Hackoid. It's again for free and Hackoid is another networking toolkit with a bunch of neat and scary tools. You can get a lot of basic info like voice info along with port scanning, DNS and IP searches and more. However, you get a lot of info from the app including stuff like Wi-Fi password and etc. So it's a scary tool as I told you. Now moving on to the next one, it's called Kali Net Hunter. It's a neat app, but it's available only on a few devices. Originally, it was available in Nexus, the Google Nexus 5 and 7 devices. But now it is available on only some of the devices. I don't have the list for it, but try on your smartphone. If not, then I'm not responsible for that. Uh, this app includes a bunch of functions, including wireless injunction and an AP mod, and it can fun uh, HID keyboard attacks. The app itself basically runs as an overlay on your device and picks up internet traffic. So moving on, we have an app from Play Store. It's called Network Mapper. It's a rare hacking app available on Play Store. This app serves as a fronted for Nmap scanner. You basically install the app and you get the Nmap scanner process. It lets you check out open ports, protocol, hosts, services and other such similar details about any network that you connect to. So it's a pretty neat app again. Uh, moving on to the next app that's also available on Play Store. It's called the NetX Network Tools Pro, which actually costs $3, which I am assuming it to be around uh, 250 to 300 rupees. So it's basically in that range. So this NetX uh, app is a network analysis again. Most of the apps here are based on the network. So it gets you information about IP, MAC address and bonjour name, uh, get the um, net voice name, domain name, the mobile network provider, signal strength, uh, gateway, DNS, etc. So you get the idea, there are many features in here. Now moving on, there is another app which is pretty expensive for an app because it costs around $15, which is nothing but uh, 1,125 Indian rupees. Again, it has a capacity to sniff both Wi-Fi and LTE networks, and the UI is surprisingly clean for the amount of information it pulls down. It has some limitations, but it doesn't require rooting your phone. 
Now the next app that's also available in Play Store is called Wi-Fi Kill Pro. It's free and it lets you control the network your device is on. It does this by shutting down the access to the network by blocking packets headed for the device over the network. The app lets you see everybody connected to the network, data transfer rates for each device and names of each device. Now moving on to the last app and this is called Z T or Z Anti, whatever it is called. So this Z Anti is apparently quite the popular network penetration tool because it's free. Again, it's available from XDA developers. So the link is in the description down below. It basically scans all the networks and gives the security managers a snapshot of potential network vulnerabilities. Of course, that means it can give it to anyone who needs it. That was pretty much everything about the hacking app on Play Store. 2020. I hope you guys liked it. If yes, please hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. With that being said, my name is Ahul and I am signing off.